In this video, let me show you when and how to convert an HTML DOM element to a jQuery object and also when and how to access an HTML DOM element from a jQuery object. So it is both the ways that is jQuery object from HTML DOM element and HTML DOM element from jQuery object. To illustrate this, I have already saved a web page and changed the title and also added reference to the latest jQuery file. Now let me add some contents to illustrate this. So let me have a div element that is a main div with id container and within this let me have a number of div elements div id equals box 1 class name equals box and 1 as the text. Now let me copy this and paste three more times to have four div elements and change the id to box 2, box 3 and box 4 and change the content to 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. Now after this div element that is the main div let me have a button. So button with text click. Now let me try to style these div elements and also this button. As of now, they will be just displayed like 1, 2, 3, 4 and a button, right? As you could see here. Let me style them a bit. So within the head section, let me add style part. And let me first access the container, hash container. And let me set a width of say 500px, height of 150px, then border 2px solid black and let me also set background color to be say pink. Next let me style these child elements that is the four div elements within. So let me access them using their common class name box and let me set a width of 100px also height of 100px border 1px solid black background let it be say purple and I want them to be displayed one next to the other not one below the other. So let me specify float to be left then let me set a margin to have some gap let it be say 11px then let me set the color of the text that is 1, 2, 3, 4 in white. Let me also increase the font size to be say 60px okay. Now let's check how they are being displayed. See this is how they are now being displayed. Actually I want to display them horizontally and vertically centered. So how I can do that? Let me specify text align to be center so that it will be horizontally centered and a simple hack or trick to vertically center is set the line height as the same of the height of the element. So let me set line height and height to be 100px. Now let us see the output. See now they are horizontally and vertically centered right. Next let me style the button as well. So let me access the button as there is only one button I am using the tag name selector. Then let me set a font size of 25px then margin of 10px to have some gap between this button and also this container right. Then padding of say 5px to have some gap between the content and the border then also I want to have rounded corners so let me specify border radius to be 5px. Now the styling is done some basic styling is done. Next I want to get all the child elements of this main container okay. So what method can be used for that we can use the children method to get the child elements and we will get all the child elements for the selected element. So let me specify I have to add the jQuery code. So let me add the script section and within this let me add dollar document dot ready and here function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and within this on the click of the button actually I want to get the details. So let me write dollar button 
dot click that is the event again within this also we need to write function parenthesis curly braces and here we need to write the code so let me declare a variable named items and i want to get the child elements of this main div that is the div with id container so let me access it dollar hash container that is the id dot children is the method actually this will return a jquery object which will contain all the child elements if i try to alert items we will get an object it is a jquery object let me just show you let me click the button see we are seeing object object this is actually a jquery object within which we have all the dom elements it is actually a jquery object of dom elements now suppose i try to let me comment this and specify items dot css as this is a jquery object we can use the css method right css method works on jquery object what should i do i want to set say background color to be gray i am setting a different color as the background now let me save this and show you the output now these div elements are in purple color right let me click the button see their color has changed to gray so what we have done here we have used the css method which is a jquery method on this jquery object this object contains all the child elements of this container right so this is the expected output right now suppose i want to change the color of only one item that is of the very first one i want to change to gray and the remaining ones should have the color purple as before so what we need to do items is a jquery object containing the html elements that is these four elements now suppose i try to let me comment this and suppose i try to alert items of zero let me show you what the output is let me save this let me click the button see we are seeing an html div element it is actually a dom element it is not a jquery object so if we try to do the same thing that is if we remove this and copy this code will this work let me copy this paste it here that is i am trying to change the very first items background color to gray so that all the remaining ones will have the color purple itself right now let me save this and show you let me click the button nothing happened let me show you the console so that you can get more details developer tools see in the console there is an error uncaught type error items of 0.css is not a function why css is a method we already know that it has worked with this but items of 0 is not a jquery object it is an html dom element as we have seen html div element right so what we should do if we want to convert this into a jquery object so when we have to use some css methods we cannot use it on an html dom element it will work only with jquery object so in such cases we might have to convert our html dom element into a jquery object and it is very easy you just have to wrap it in dollar so now this has become a jquery object and hence this method should work now let me save this and show you click see the first one's background color is changed to gray which means that this css method is now working and it works only with a jquery object as this was an html div element we had to convert it into a jquery object which is very simple you just have to wrap the element or the html dom element using dollar and hence this became a jquery object so now you understand when and how we can convert an html dom element into a jquery object now suppose we want to do the reverse that is we want to get the html dom element from a jquery object now suppose i select dollar dot box what is this this is a jquery object of all the matching elements right that is all the elements having the class name box suppose i want to use a method which is 
offered for HTML DOM elements, not for jQuery object. For example, I want to use the inner HTML method. When this is written like this, we cannot use an inner HTML method, right? If we want to use it, we have to specify document dot get element by ID or document dot get elements by class name. And then only we will be able to use the inner HTML method. We cannot use the inner HTML method on a jQuery object, right? So in order to convert this into an HTML DOM element, we can use dot get method and you can specify the index which is zero based. And suppose I specify zero, which means the very first one, dot inner HTML, that is the method. And let me try to alert this and save. Let me click the button. See, we are seeing one because we have specified the index to be zero. Suppose I specify the index to be two, which will be the output zero, one, two. So three will be displayed. See, we are seeing three. Now, suppose I specify directly dollar dot box inner HTML, what will happen? Let me delete and show you. Let me click. We are getting undefined because this does not work with jQuery object, right? Now, this is actually very simple because we can even use the HTML method to get the inner HTML value, right? Suppose we want to use some methods which is very specific for the HTML DOM elements. In that case, this becomes a useful method. That is, suppose I specify get of zero dot inner HTML, we will get the output. Let me save this and show you. One, suppose instead of inner HTML, I want to get offset top. This is a unique method which will return the distance of the current element relative to the top of its parent. So here, its parent is container so that it will give the distance between container and box one right now let me save this and show you click see we are seeing 21 that is the distance between this and this is 21 so this method is actually a unique method which can work with only an html dome element so if we just specify offset top we will not get the expected output. Let me save this and show you. Click. See, it is giving undefined. So, we can use the get method whenever we want to access an HTML DOM element from a jQuery object. If we specify just get, it will return all the matching HTML DOM elements. So, these are the two methods or two ways. One is to convert an HTML DOM element to a jQuery object. It is using dollar. You just have to wrap the element with dollar. The other is to access the HTML DOM element from the jQuery object and for which you can use the get method.